Go! Wait! It's not done yet! Go away! Go away! What's up, people? I'm Zog, and welcome back to Riotcraft Oasis. No, dude, you can't get up here. I'm here now. Stop. Stop. Good boy. Now, uh, as you saw in that little beginning clip thingamajig, I was uh, seemingly in the nether, and I was building something, and I have lots more materials, so I wonder what I'm building. Oh, by the way, uh, I know there were certain segments in that last clip that were really, really dark. I'm still working on a way to get around that. That's actually a result of action. Action records things uh, darker and I don't know why. At least it does for me under my settings. So I'm not sure how to fix that, but uh, I am working on solutions for it. But uh, sadly in this video, it probably won't be fixed. It might be, I might I might do some, uh, some post-processing, you know, gamma correction type dealios or something. But uh, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, so it's time to get on with a thing because I'm building a thing and you know what that means. When I build something, I like to use mod replay, so let's get to it.
right, and we're back. Well, you see this stuff here, but first, hold on. My voice, my voice might be a little bit deeper. That's because I just woke up. You know, you get that little, you're more of a man in the morning kind of voice. And, uh, you know, I, th I always think it sounds pretty cool, but that's just why it's a, it's a little bit different. If you notice, if you don't notice, then you can safely ignore this message. And we're just going to continue on with things. But you see this right here. This is what we have so far. Now, this thing does work, and I want to show you that it works. Well, mainly because of that, but also because if we take a snowball here and hit one of these guys. Hey, uh, zombie pigman. I missed. I totally just missed. I don't, I don't miss. What? I don't ever miss. But you see these guys, they will all run right along here and be pushed down the hole. Now, the hole currently leads down to bedrock. We have to fix that. We have to set everything else up, and that's what we're going to be working on here in a little bit but yeah look at this they're all just kind of falling to their death uh, endlessly whoa where are the pigmen pigmen you hate me right why are you not here that's a little bit weird they stopped hating me why did you stop hating me that's not supposed to be a thing that happens oh there we go okay must have been a little bit of lag on the server or something uh, it took them a while to realize that they still hated me. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, but they just keep on going. Now, it's not as powerful as it should be. You see, there are some spawns over there. See, yeah, there, there's, there's, I'm getting lag on the server. That's what it is. This is going to take them a little while to realize it. But they will. They will, they will do that, and they will head on over here in a second, I believe. Some, something, something about lag, maybe? Hello? Hello, you guys over there. You hate me, remember? Anyway, these guys, uh, when there's not a whole lot of issues on the server, they will continue to fall down. Uh, that is a thing they do. It does work. I've tested this thing like 800 times already just to make sure that we wouldn't uh, get get to the point where the zombies, zombie pigmen just don't hate us anymore. Um, but I think that happens randomly anyway in certain cases. It's just a thing that happens. Hey, pigmen. Thank you. Now, the idea of what you want to do, if you're here in the farm, we're going to have, obviously, um, you know, they fall down here. The experience is going to get pushed over to about right here in this block. So you're going to stand halfway in this block and halfway in, you know, these two blocks. And what this is, is actually the middle of the farm. Like this, these four blocks here, if you stand like right on the corner of these four blocks, you are in the exact middle of the farm because it's a two by two, it's, it's a two wide design. So these four middle blocks is the exact middle of the farm and you're gonna get more of the spawns that way. Uh, but that doesn't matter too, too, too much. If you're standing on this block, it's not gonna be a big deal. But, you know, the zombie pigmen are gonna be dropped down here. They're gonna hit the ground too hard. They're gonna die and the experience is gonna be pushed over and then bounced back up to you. That's how the farm works. And then obviously we're going to have a collection plate style thing that is going to be collecting all of the items and depositing it into chests. Now these chests, they can fill up pretty quickly. Like you see here, we still get more. Yeah, the chest will fill up pretty quickly, but we'll be able to, you know, we'll be able to set something up. It'll, it'll work out fine. Uh, cause this is just nuggets. You craft them right back into ingots and you, you kind of save a whole lot of space that way. But yeah. It's not as powerful as, as it's supposed to be. I'm not sure why. It might be that the platform is actually too big. Uh, so I may need to chop some of the uh, snow blocks off the ends of some of these. Because I think some of the guys are too far away to aggro. And I gotta figure out what range that is and then chop the platform down so we don't get pigment over there who are just standing there taking up spawn spaces without actually chasing us. Like that guy way over there. He, he doesn't he doesn't see us um, but if we were to go closer he should maybe not yeah and if we go too far that way they think that's the closest edge so you know they try to get to you there anyway doesn't really matter too much doesn't matter too much but it's it's enough to keep it steady you can afk here which is the entire point of this you can literally just stand here and afk for a pretty long while and you will just get levels upon levels of experience and eventually we're going to have this whole area set up. So we're going to have an enchanting table somewhere. We got to trap one of the ba uh, not baby, but uh, we, we got to trap one of the zombie pigmen somewhere so we can throw snowballs at him. 
Only snowballs once he's uh, name tagged and trapped people. Only snowballs. Never arrows. Never arrows. Never punching either. Um, now you can shoot an arrow at one at the one that isn't name tagged if you really want to do that. That's fine too. Uh, but never an arrow or punching that zombie pigman because then he will eventually die. We don't want him to die because he's supposed to be there forever. Snowballs don't take damage from people. Anyway, <laughs> that's just a thing. Now, after we get him trapped and after we build up the entire area, see, look, I don't know. They're not mad at me. I'm going to take this opportunity to go down below. Woohoo! I have died so many times uh, on this farm. It is, it is literally ridiculous. Oh, look, there's a zombie that somehow survived. What? How did you survive, man? Like, seriously, that's a long fall. That is such a long fall. How did you survive that? I don't, I don't understand. I do not get it. Anyway, it doesn't really matter too much. What I'm going to do is drop off these swords. And as you see here, I do have a bunch more gold nuggets. That's cool. Sweet. You guys know I like my flesh, and obviously the snowballs are a thing I'm keeping. But uh, we don't need those swords. Anyway, so when we go back up top here... Uh, we got to do some work. We have to do some work on this farm to make it better. Because like I said, there's some mechanics underneath this guy that are just kind of ridiculous that I need to get to. But unfortunately, that time lapse is so ridiculously long. So long. It took so long to build this thing. I already missed one episode. I had to postpone and cancel an episode because I didn't have enough footage, footage to put into one episode. And now at least the time lapse is done. So this is a very, very short video. And I do apologize for that. I really, really, really do. Uh, because that's not usually how I like to do things. I like to keep them, you know, the same time frame and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. But these guys, this this thing, man, this thing is, is astronomically huge. It was so much bigger than I thought. I didn't. I didn't even have a clue. I had no idea how big this thing was. But this thing is massive. Absolutely massive. You know how much time it took to get all the snow? This is all snow, by the way. Those are quartz. This is all snow. You have any idea how long it took? Forever. Days. Days upon days. Collect all the snow and place it. And then the wood? There's like 12 stacks of logs put into this roof. 12 stacks of logs. It is ridiculous. Now, wood is not that hard to get, so it really didn't take me too long to get all the wood. But it's still a lot of friggin' wood. 12, 12 stacks of trees. 12 stacks. How ridiculous is that number? And then you have, like, that's 12 stacks. This is 12, 12. Uh, that's of logs, which means 12 times 4. And then you're going into slabs. So, yeah. Um, one log is eight slabs and I needed 12 stacks of logs. Wait, how, what did I say that right? Yeah, no, I did. Like you can't actually do that, but that's, that, that's the, that's the math. Uh, you, you can only do three, three planks at a time to get six, six slabs. But basically one log is eight, eight slabs and I needed 12 stacks of at least 12 stacks of logs. So how much, yeah, holy crap. 12 times eight, that's how many, how much snow I needed for each level. And there's three levels. This is ridiculous, man. Such a ridiculous friggin' build. Somebody do the math for me and throw that down in the comments because maths is not me. Maths is not me. You guys know this. I'm not a math person. So go ahead and do that math. Figure out if this, if this right here took 12 stacks of logs and keep in mind that means you know I did put it down put all 12 stacks down into planks which means that's times four and then you get two planks or two uh, slabs out of each plank oh man this is just this is nuts this is so nuts hey pigman come over here we're gonna get some more gold but I do want to do uh you know do want to do yep yeah, totally uh, I, I do want to mention uh, a shout out to Silent Lilac who actually came by. She helped me dig out a lot of the snow that we needed. She gave me a lot of the snow. So that was really, really, really cool of her. She helped me build out one of these things. Now I couldn't show the entire build 
in the in the time lapse because some of the footage got messed up from a replay mod. I don't know why, but it did. It's a thing that happened. And it really, really bummed me out because, like, I wanted to show the roof actually being built. I wanted to help Silent, or show that Silent Highlight Lilac helped me out. Uh, there might have been a small little snippet in there somewhere, but I don't think so. And unfortunately, that wasn't possible because the video just was black. There was just nothing there. And I, I just, for whatever reason, could not show it. It just, it kind of stunk. I don't know why, but it happened. Anyway, so, if you did like the episode, don't forget to, uh... <laughs> don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to see more and you want my videos sent directly to you, then don't forget to subscribe. Comment, favor, share if you feel like you want to. Thanks so much for watching. Go check out Silent Lilac. Her link is obviously down there in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.